Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Matt Rickard, and I'm coming at you with another one of my LEGO mocks. This time it's a speeder that I've made. Before I jump into the video, I'd like to say that I'm sorry for not posting in a while. I know I posted one a couple weeks back, but I feel that there's still too long of a time. Um, before also I go into the video, this weekend I'm going to be posting eight videos and finishing the Modern City series with Will. Um, we wanted to do that for a little bit now, and uh, we figured that this weekend would be a better weekend than any to actually get it done. So, yeah, that's what's going to be happening this weekend, so stay tuned. Um, also, there's going to be a candy machine in the near future, so t stay tuned for that. And other than that, I those are basically my plans, so I can't really say much else. So, um, without me rambling on, we could actually get into this video, so here we go. Okay, guys, so on to the external features. There are not much other than some slim bricks that are covering some rather rocky holes. These two footsteps here I've made out of a 2x10. Um, not really quite sure why I did that, but, you know, I guess it looks cool for when this guy gets out, but I'll get into that in just in a bit. Um, back here you can see that there are some flat pieces just for decoration and another fin for decoration, maybe just for, like, steering or something, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Um, the tail is made kind of in the triangle shape, and these two are here to support it, these two foot beams, I guess, if that's what you'd like to call them. Onto the front, you can see we have a hinge right here, but not a regular hinge, it is a 2x4 hinge, and I will take that out right now just to show you what it looks like, and it looks basically like this. Um, I don't really think I have another one of these other than this. Um, I think it's actually really much better than just a regular hinge. I don't know why. It feels more sturdy, I guess. Um, and they fit nice and quite easily into hard spaces, I guess. Um, over here is just another flat 2x4. Um, again, just to show decoration. And back here, as you can see, there's a little bit of space. That's to cover the rest of it, if I can get this off. Yeah, there's a good amount of space in there, I guess, you know, I could have put something in for storage, but I didn't really feel the need to do that, so, uh, yeah. Also on the front, you can see there's like a shark mouth effect going on here, um, with a sloped piece that fits this bottom sloped piece right here. I don't really know what to call these, and there's also another foot brick. That, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to call these from now on, these two things right here. I'm going to call them foot bricks. I don't know why, I'll just call them foot bricks, um, until I find the actual name. And that holds this quite nicely, and this kind of clasps spawn right onto that. Um, on the side, you can see there are two more foot bricks, and covering them are these one by sixes to actually cover all these. Because without it, you know, it kind of look messy and ugly and not nice. Um, not much else other than I can say I built these kind of walls out of these slanted bricks right here, and put some more smooth tiles on them, as well as I added some windows on the side. Um, not a big deal, I guess. Um, the windshield I've used for multiple different creations. If you haven't seen those, I will put a link in the description for them. Only the certain ones that I want to show, though, I guess. Or, or actually, you know what, instead of that, I will just let you roam freely, you know, if you want. Just explore my channel, there's a bunch of cool stuff on there. Um, some like this. Others not so much. <coughs> oh, sorry for that, guys. Um, also, in the general windshield area, I have this little creation I made out of some L bricks, I guess. If I can get that off. I'm going to break it if I take this off, aren't I? Um, actually, I could just take the top off, couldn't I? Yeah, as you can see, they are L bricks connected together, and... They just have one by two slant, um, gosh, I can't speak, sorry. Um, they have one by two smooth tiles covering them for that added, you know, futuristic effect. And, um, that's basically it for the outside details. Now onto the inside details. Okay, so the inside details aren't much, I'll say that. Um, let me just take this guy out quickly just to show you what there are, or I'll just kind of move him back. Um, it's literally only a decoration panel for, like, speedometer and radar and all that good stuff. Other than that, there's really not much. There is, however... <coughs> I am so sorry, guys. I am not sure what I'm doing here. Well, I'm hitting the creation, but, yeah. Uh, there is a spike handle for that added speeder effect. 
You know, if you were on, like, a Star Wars speeder, that's what this would look like, basically. Um, but this is much bigger. Um, the way it fits in is right here. Let me just take this guy off to show you. Right here, as you can see, there is a uh, one by one peg that fits uh, smoothly in between this four by, uh, not four by four, or yeah, four by two actually, my bad. And that's how this guy stays in. Um, he just basically attaches like this, if I can actually ever attach him. Uh. Uh. Oh man, I am so sorry. Um, if you haven't noticed, actually, I haven't, since I haven't made a video in a while, I might sound a little bit off on my, maybe, like, intros and commentary, because I, in a sense, forgot what I'm doing. Yeah. Great going, Matt. Finally, I get this thing attached, but I have to reattach the peg. My bad. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Alright. So, um... Oh, my gosh. He fits right in here like this. That's where his two feet fit. And he actually, it fits quite perfectly, if, you know, I, I might say. Because normally it might be too big or too small, but it actually fits quite perfectly. Um, there are some opening gaps on the side that I couldn't fill in. I didn't really have the materials, and the windshield just closes. It opens all the way, and also closes all the way on him. Um, but that's just about it for this video. Um... Hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a like. And um, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.